Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? It's Azaburst here with another video for you all. Hold on, let me just check something. Okay, perfect. I just had to see if you were recording because sometimes I make that mistake. Alright, yeah, we're recording. So, hey everyone, how are you all doing? It's Azaburst. And uh, today, um, we're actually resuming the Child Garden series. Something that I haven't done in a few months, mainly because it wasn't getting any watch time, like, at all. And that made me decide, like, yeah, maybe... We should just like stop doing this but you know i've been in the child garden a lot recently and the child that i kind of like you know we ended up making in those first two parts stuck around and i didn't really do much because i haven't been in child garden lately but you know i've been jumping in from time to time because i do play a sonic adventure 2 just whenever i have time and i saw how many new mods there are for the child world and i just had to showcase them there there was just no getting around it um, so yeah, we're just gonna get going as rouge. And this isn't gonna be like an everyday thing. I'm not gonna upload too much Child Garden videos, but I do wanna share this experience with you guys. I wanted to make a Child Garden series for the longest with Child World Extended, and now that I have finally a time that it takes, I will try to get other people featured in the videos, like back in the duo Child World. But I'll stay with this file of Chow just because I don't want to keep making new save files. Although it's easier now with the Chow World Extended codes to make multiple Chow save files. But it's just easier for me if I can just stick with the Chow that I have and not have to worry about jumping between file to file. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Not much to say. I'm going to keep uploading more Chow Garden videos. Just tune in, like, subscribe, give it a little watch time. You may like it. You know, you can put in names for future Chow, or if you want me to get a certain type of Chow, you just say that. Um, the Fusion's Chow Editor doesn't work with Chow World Extended anymore. There's a new editor for it, which I do have installed, but I will not be using it. I will only use it to speed up time, so if I want a Chow to evolve like right now, I'll let it evolve, and that's it. We won't be using it for stats, we won't be using it to change how a Chow looks, we won't be using it to change eye colors, or any of the sort from here on out. All that's going to be used for is time, and besides that, any of the mods, you know, garden mods and child race mods and things like that. But for the most part, it's going to be pretty normal, it's going to be regular. Pretend that that editor isn't even there, because I will never be using it unless I'm speeding up evolution, which I don't need to do right now, because I've been hanging around in the garden for long enough for these child to start really looking like they're evolving. So let's jump on in, I've said more than enough, and let's get into it. Um, Oh yeah, one last thing, one last thing. As you can see, gardens are gone. I was able to delete my save file, but still keep my chow imported. It was a lot of work, but I know how to do it, and I learned how to do it now. So it's actually a lot simpler when you learn how to do it, but um, that means the chow world, the chow race, I mean, is not there. The chow karate is not there. All of it is not done, so we have to redo it, and I didn't start it yet, so yeah. So, it's pretty much a fresh save file, but I just kept all my chow. So, yeah. Let's hop on in. So, as you can see, with the chow counter, we have... <laughs> Please hold the chow in your hands. Um, yeah, we have over 8 chow, I think. What is that? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9? Yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to quit. Okay, cool. Yeah, but all our chow are here, and they're exactly the same as they were before. A lot of chow aged, and I upgraded a couple of chow. But that's pretty much it. This this child was the child with the crazy face. And as you can see, he still has his crazy face just like before. I didn't change anything. Um, I upgraded his run a lot. So he's going to become a, a run child, a dark run child. And I don't know where I'm going to bring his you know, evolution phase from there. But he's going to become a dark run child. This extra child, I don't know if this child was in the previous videos or not. But this was a new child that I think I had. I think I made it to get it. I don't remember. Yeah, I think I might have made it to get that child. I think I made it this dark child and the other dark child that's sleeping over there to get this one. And we're turning this into a dark fly child. And this child is female. So, okay, she doesn't like to be carried. But, yeah, this child is um, going to be um, female. So, um, this child was the hero garden child. The child with the evil eyes and the crazy smile. We're turning that child into a hero run. And as you can see, this is Chow World version 9, the um, Chow World Extended, which is great. Now look, Chow can talk to each other. Tell me this ain't adorable. Mm -hmm. 
Now, they actually talk for quite a long time, so I'm gonna just let them carry on. Someone is drawing. Oh, look, it's him. He might be drawing Shadow, yeah. Shadow is his idol. <laughs> um, yeah, but he finally woke up. So, aside from Chow aging or whatever, um, the only changes that were applied to these Chow were power up. So, this Chow wasn't as strong before, I just made him a stronger Chow. Gave up a lot of chaos drive. This hero child isn't changed in any way, shape, or form. This child is still exactly the same as he's always been. We do we did name him Butt. His name is Butt now. I don't know why, but I named him Butt. Um, this child is named Question Mark because that's the face I had when I saw his face. This child doesn't have a name, but I will give it a name. Her name. This child is named Satan. We've been over this. This I don't think this child has a name yet either. And he didn't really change much. I did just give him Chaos Drives, not a lot, but I gave him a few. Um, let me think. You're not named, are you? I don't think you're named. Yeah, no, you're not named. But yeah, same thing, upgraded. Um, upgraded these two. She cannot walk. Yeah, as you can see, the last three categories is low. She doesn't have any runs, power, or stamina. I let her swim, and she's going to be a fly type, so I stuck her there completely. Um... I think he's hungry. Is he hungry? Someone's hungry. Oh look, the power child is playing with the little rubber ducky, the new the new item added in from um the child with extended body. Alright. If I can pick this little brat up. Okay, good. Okay, so this is our um good old hero run chow, soon to be. So let me just pick him up again. And here are his stats. Just brought his run to a high level and got all of his other stats. I gave him the chow fruit actually. Didn't know that they upgrade a lot more, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Is it going after it, even though it's already being used? That's weird. Didn't know it could do that. Um Yeah, so there goes the rubber ducky. It's just running around. That's what it does. Um this chow here, he's a green chow. I don't know if this chow is in the older videos or not. I don't know, so I'm I'm actually not sure, but these are his stats. All of these chow are actually gonna evolve really soon too, so just be careful of that. I knew you were hungry. You should have just eaten the fruit. Anyway, yeah, all the chow that haven't evolved yet will evolve very soon. I don't think this one's gonna evolve though, because I kind of brought her into the world pretty late compared to all the other chow. But I did feed her a lot, and feeding Chow fruits actually increases their magnitude of touch, and actually increases the amount of time that they have in their second evolution to live. So that's a fun fact if you didn't know that. So feed your Chow, but don't overfeed them either. Don't force feed your Chow just so they can live long. It's not fun, and I'm pretty sure in the Chow with Extended mod that isn't a smart idea either. Um, I don't think you're hungry. Um, here, eat up. Um, I do want these child to eat those, so they're not starving to death. All of your stats are the same. Oh, you like roots too? I didn't even know. Why didn't you draw me? Why didn't you draw me then? Say that. Um, what about you? Yeah, you're the same. Oh yeah, but you did get a name. I named you Koto. Yeah, his name is Koto. Don't ask why. I did it for personal reasons. Um, you, let's just take a look at your stats, so everyone's keeping up. Yeah, I upgraded him a little bit, not a lot, not a lot, but I will get to him. I kind of stopped midway through. I should have gotten some Chaos Drives, actually, and just did that from, like, now, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, every child in this garden, I'm sure, knows how to swim, except you. You cannot swim yet, and you are unable to walk currently. So, yeah, there's a lot of inconsistencies right now. Um, so a lot of Chow are actually getting ready to evolve soon. I'm just gonna feed a couple of these unevolved Chow so they can up, level up a little faster. You can basically do the animal glitch with fruits too. That way you can feed Chow without, you know, adding um, an alignment boost, which, you know, gives them the heart. You normally want to though because you want them to, you know, feel affection, but at the same time, if you do that before they evolve, they can become a hero or a dark Chow depending on who you're using. And when you want to get a neutral child, that ain't good. That ain't good. So, yeah, um, when child get hungry, they actually start to act differently. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to showcase that eventually at some point. Um, yeah, child are swimming, they're having fun. Oh, yeah, you, I'm pretty sure I always already named you. Um, so, yeah. 
what I'm gonna do now though is I think I'm gonna take the Chow into the races, possibly. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now before they um before they level up. The Chow Karate isn't here. I don't know why. I might have to. There, there's a DLC mod that brings all that stuff back, so I might just have to do that or something. I don't know. Um. So these two Chow aren't gonna be used for any of these beginner races or any of the like early challenge races. They will be used for the jewel races though, because I'm probably gonna skip like levels one through four and just get to the fifth level. We don't get Chow anymore, like we used to like get like gold and silver Chow every time we beat a jewel race. We're not doing that anymore. Um, we just get whatever we get. Um, but these Chow are basically there for you know, they're just there, just in case I do need them for something. But we're basically gonna be using every other Chow here except like these main three who are gonna be like the main Chow. You know, he's gonna become the light cast child, the dark cast child, and then the angel cast child, and you know, that's how it's gonna work. And then these chow, I wanna, you know, we're working on them personally, so I wanna be able to put them in races. So for now, actually, we're gonna throw, we're gonna throw you into the run race. Talk about here, there's always that one chow that's like the furthest into the alignment, like the, the bluest one there. You just know he's the closest to evolving into the run neutral type, which is why he's the fastest. But as fast as that chow may be, oh wow, I was about to say that I'm faster, but yeah, I was about to lose that because I tripped, surprisingly. Alright, so. Wow. Yeah, there it goes. As you can see, now it's even closer to coming up. Wow, that child looks awesome. I'm gonna be honest, this child looks cool. And he drew himself this time. Last time he draw Shadow, and he might draw Ruby in. Are you good? I don't know what he's doing. He's just chilling, maybe. Yeah, he's just chilling. I guess he's bored. Um, but actually, I do need to do something. So, way back when, I used to use this code that like changes the black market items. The D-pad code is what they call it. But there's a bug. Where if you use it, or at least in my case, if I use it, like, the items will, like, save forever, and you will never get the regular back market again. So fruits like these, and all of these fruits that I will explain in due time, um, I actually might take this. I do want these. Um, I will take that, actually. Ooh, I could've got that. I'm taking that, too. I'm sorry. I'm taking I, I have to. Um, okay, but the main reason I came here, though, was to buy a seed, because, um, I guess I'll just get a square seed. Yeah, get a square seed. Okay, but I needed a seed because, um, as you can see, fruits like to spoil a lot, and when the texture bug like that happens, you can't really tell if, um, you know, your tree, your fruits are spoiled or not. So, to make things easier, we're just gonna plant this, um, square fruit here. And you, my friend, are going to be the one to do it. Because I know you have the items required, so you can do it. And we have these hats. Um, extra hats. A lot of new things were added in the Chawa Extended Mod. So we can give a Chawa hat. We can give a Chawa um, headphones. And we are going to do that. Um, I actually don't know if certain Chawa can... Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Are you hungry? Oh, I do have another code though where um trees just like bloom out the um thing now. You don't have to wait for trees to grow. Because I ain't doing that. You know? That's just not about to be what I'm about to do. So when the trees grow, I don't have to wait for them to grow. They'll come out instantly growing already. And then you just gotta wait for fruits. I think this child was yeah, they, I think they're both hungry probably. That's gotta be what it is. 
But I can't tell if these fruits are spoiled or not. Okay, but these definitely are because they're not even like down yet. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and feed these two. Okay, we're gonna get you out the water because you can drown, and we don't want that to happen. You should be ready to evolve by now. No, oh, the dark child talking. Talking about um what, it, what it's gonna be like when their home finally comes back, which it will soon because these child are they're evolving this episode. I promise you. So. And there goes our thumbnail, kids. <laughs> You know, I actually read that if um a code that if there's um like if the um if like two child talk to each other if two child talk to each other enough they'll actually hold hands. It's pretty neat. I want to see it happen. Um, one thing I do want to say about um this whole child world extended mod, you know, showcase thing. Um, since it hasn't been getting a lot of watch time, I'm not gonna limit my time in the garden to only when I'm recording. So, in the next part, Chow might be different, you know, because they might be aged a little bit. Things might change because I'm going to be in the garden off screen a lot. So, a lot of times, Chow is gonna be more upgraded than usual. Oh, look, he's using his new toy. Okay, there we go, first evolution. So, we finally get the hero garden. Oh. Look, that's so cool! They're pushing on for the for the um evolution. That's so adorable. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this mod is great. <laughs> Link in the description, you already know. And right after that, he talks to a hero child. You guys are gonna be enemies when you evolve, you know. Um, I could turn on the Dreamcast Cocoon mod where, like, you don't know if your child's gonna live or die when that, you know, Cocoon of Death comes up, but I'll probably do that later. Video. I'm probably gonna put the headphones in the Dark Garden and the hat in the Hero Garden, so one of the Hero Child gonna have the hat. You're not gonna be wearing the hat because I like you a lot. I might give it to the Power Child. I don't like how Power Childs look. Um, I might make another one, though. You never know. But, um, yes. First evolution, which means... And the second he evolves, he wants to have a conversation with our devil here. And you know what? We're gonna let him talk. We're gonna let him talk because he has to teach him. They have to. He has to help him learn what it's like. Give himself a little dap up, and they gotta talk about like you know what it's gonna be like to be an evolved state. He needs advice on these things. These things are important. Um. Oh, there he goes. All right, cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna move my mouse. Um, perfect, perfect. So, there goes our next evolution, and that's actually the final evolution that we need. But before he does evolve, let me go take this hat and bring it to the hero garden. And here it is, the hero garden. There is no texture, I don't think. You yeah, know, this is actually the enhanced hero garden. Behold, people, behold. The enhanced hero garden comes with its own improved waypoints mod, so Chow will run over here because they normally don't because the game just wasn't programmed for them to do that, which was fixed. Um, you can actually go on top of that, and Chow can actually spawn up here, and then they'll end up, you know, flying down. They'll be fine, but you know, Chow can spawn up there, and it's impossible to get a Chow up there unless you either like throw them up there or you have like the moon jump code, which I don't have on because no, it's not really fun to use. In my opinion, but yeah, so now that the hero child have you know the hero gardens here, we get to move all of our child to the hero garden. And I'm actually going to use the editor for that one because you can just easily, you know, with the click of a button, switch around the child. But I'm gonna do that after we get our dark guy, wherever he is. Okay, he's evolving up there, so we're just gonna let that evolution happen. You finally evolved, so I don't have to worry about messing up your alignment anymore. So I can pet you, play with you, and do all that. You need to evolve soon, you will eventually. You're still sleeping somehow, some way. I don't know how. You just went to sleep. Wake up. You're about to move. Pack your bags. There's a garden waiting for you. And there he is. There's my boy. 
He is a dark run chow. We are finally getting it there. It'll be a while before we see any real difference because, you know, he's just not at that age where changes occur. But he's here now. And we have a mod that prevents, you know, the dark chow from having eyes being forced to look evil. So, woohoo. That's cool. And you might evolve soon. Are you going to evolve now? Yeah, he's evolving now. She is evolving now. That's actually going to be a female chow. I'm going to name her something. Okay, but since she's evolving, I guess I'll just wait for that. And y'all are talking anyway, so that's cool. Get up. You are not about to drown on me. Nope, not, not happening. Not ever. I need to go buy another seed, which means I need more rings. And boom, there she goes. She finally evolved. And with that being said, we can leave now. And behold, the dark garden, or the egg carrier garden, because right now we have the egg carrier garden. This is a garden inspired by Sonic Adventure DX's egg carrier. It's got a bunch of textures looking just like it, and it's got the music playing, so everything's pretty much in good shape. This is the enhanced dark garden, same as the enhanced hero garden and the enhanced child garden. There's even an enhanced kitten garden, I'm pretty sure you guys saw it. Um, and if not, that's probably because I skipped it, but not to worry. I'll show it off eventually, but yeah, so they're all enhanced, you can all find them, they're all made by the same creator, don't remember the name, I'm sorry, but you will learn who it is when I send you to the download link anyway, so don't worry about any of that, um, but yeah, basically these mods enhance the gardens a lot, they have their own waypoint mods as well, Cha will go under, I don't know, well, I don't know if it's like programmed that well, but Cha will like be over here, because Cha went everywhere over here, but Cha will be over here now, so that's good. Um, these Dreamcast looking like mods are compatible with all textures now, so that's always good. And same for the Hero Garden and the Child Garden as well, although the Child Garden has more aesthetic changes and like, you know, ge geometrical changes and stuff like that. Yes, I know, you're hungry. Um, okay, but who's gonna wear the headphones? Because someone here is gonna be wearing them. I might give it to you. You might get them. I don't know, you might get them. But what you need, what you need is to learn how to walk. I might give you a child fruit just to upgrade your stats. And look, he's climbing, but you, you kind of suck at it. Yeah, because your power is level zero, that's probably why. Um, no worries there, though. Okay, so everything is settled. You can stay here, because I will put you on someone. Um, and our hero garden set two. We have three chow in here, the hat is here. He's mad because he's hungry, and I'm going to feed him soon, I promise. Yeah, you guys are both starving to death. Um, and our other hero child is up here, chilling, so that's good. And that's pretty much it. We have our we have our child, we're done. Um, in the next video, whenever that'll be, we will focus on this, well, we won't focus on this garden, but this child will evolve in that next video. And yes, Chow are starving. I'm gonna feed them, actually. Um, I'm gonna rack up some rings. For, I'm gonna take care of the beginner race, or at least get up to level 3 on the beginner race, and let all the Chow do that. Showcase that, probably. Um, then we're gonna talk about the rest of the races afterwards. Um, and then after that, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a lot of fixing up on the gardens. Uh, next video, textures are gonna be different for some gardens. Some are gonna be the same. Some may not have textures at all. Um next video there will be trees planted i will have more rings because as you can see i'm broke i'll have more you know things chow will be different chow would have changed but yeah this is basically just a video to showcase and explain you know what things are going to be happening here a lot of new mods are happening chow world extended virgin on is a great mod and i hope you guys are willing to stick with me on this adventure and post in the comments and you know be a part of it anyway thank you all for watching i will see you all in the next video I have a few videos scheduled to come out before this one, so you guys will have a couple videos about that. This is actually being made like four to five days before it's released, so there's a few videos coming your way before then, and you're gonna be, by the time this video comes out, there's gonna be at least like two to three other videos scheduled to come out after that too, that's just the way I've set up my algorithm, so yeah any suggestions any games you want to be playing any type of mods anything like that any type of chow chow names anything of the sort you guys know what to do post in the comments of recent videos don't go on old videos and comment on them because i probably won't be there but you know comment like comment subscribe stay updated 
I upload pretty much once every two days, I think. Once every two days, once every three days, something like that. But I've been at a constant, you know, two day ish upload date every week. However, videos are short for that reason. But I won't talk your ear off. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.